Hey, what's going on everybody? I just recently uploaded my full game speedrun tutorial for Trepang 2 and it turns out since then, uh, just today, that there's an update for the Enforcer skip that makes getting out of bounds much easier and getting back in bounds at the end of the skip also significantly easier and both should be faster. So the old route meant you jumped up on this, jumped up on the banister and then did this annoying kick off the light through the skylight and then you could continue on. But uh, what was found is that this back wall here, anything below this part of the wooden beam, just doesn't have any collision, so you can just freely walk through it. And now this is void, so you don't want to go too far. But what we're going to do here in just a second, I'll show you, is go into focus. So slow-mo, slide, jump, kick off of this wall up to this right. It's not too hard to do. If you've done all the other skips, you learned all the run. Um, Horizon HQ, slide 14, even the old way of doing this skip this is not super scary uh, so the way back in is also using this exact same wall just on the other side of the room and uh, this is where you drop down and hit the loading and then kick your way back up and then fall through the skylight eventually now you can just walk off that corner crouch here and get back in bounds so much faster so much easier i would recommend hitting the auto save i'll show it once again if you can't remember where it is. It's just right here before the steps. My autosave didn't pop up because I actually already hit it because I've been practicing this stuff for a little bit here just to learn it so I can show you guys. So uh, let's go back. So it's not super scary to do, but you want to go into focus, slide, jump, kick off the wall, and then get over here. You do have quite a bit of time. Just make sure you're kicking pretty not super super early and not late enough to just not get any height off the kick you don't need to worry about the angle of the kick too much you can pretty much go straight up and then turn and then uh you know just hold forward and get over here the mantle is also pretty generous so the rest of the skip is the same until the end when we come back so i'll just run through this real quick and if you haven't already taken the time to learn of this run or the skip uh, you can go and watch of this part in my full game tutorial which i'll have linked down below in the description and probably in the pinned comment run through this real quick Couple of tries on that one, but hey, you know. All stations, our first priority is to Let's go get back in bounds. So we're, gonna, we're still going to drop down, hit this loading part, and then instead of doing our kick back ups, you can just hit this wall. And I will show you the way I've found to do this pretty consistently. It's yet to fail me. Uh, so you could just run off and then crouch and get in. And it's it's not bad that way, but if you hug this wall, like just kind of walk into it, so as far left as possible, then aim for uh, this little part on the beam, this back left corner. You can even crouch first and then walk off. You'll just hit that little, uh, the bottom part of the beam. And then by just continuing to hold forward, you'll pop right back in bounds. Like so this is yet to fail me. I've been doing it for a couple minutes here and uh yeah uh, clipping back in i think is 100 percent safe that way so it still is over the void and if you fail it it, it still kind of sucks to have to go through the entire skip again um but yeah I, I think that's super super safe i would highly recommend doing it instead of kicking all the way back up just because it's going to save you I, I don't even know how much time um but yeah, the, the real big problem is potentially the first kick out but uh, as I said before, if you've done all the other skips, learned the rest of the game, this isn't much scarier than any of those. And uh, yeah, once you've done it a couple times, uh, it's not too bad. So hope this helps. If you have any questions on it, feel free to ask down in the comments or hop in the speedrun discord. And I'm sure we can help you out there as well. And uh, yeah, if you want to know any more about the run itself, you can check out the full game speedrun tutorial I uploaded. I'll once again leave that down in the comments below.